Okay, so I'm ready to punch the cables down and I had to make a cut sheet. So you can see patch panel 5 is listed right there. And if you look on the patch panel itself, there's, there's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pay attention to that. A lot of people will punch down one up here. They're written down here on the labels. Every manufacturer is a little different. So if I'm on panel 5, and panel 5 looks like it starts with cable 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198. So I'm going to punch it down in that order. Benix is going to go ahead and uh, show you the procedure here for uh, punching this down. So what I want to do, Benix, if you can see the inside angle here, yeah. I'm going to grab a cable from the inside, inside bottom, and I'm going to pull out a number, 203. Okay. Now if I look at my cut sheet, <coughs> 203 is down here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six positions down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on number 12 on the bottom. So I don't have a strain relief and I don't have a horizontal manager to, to guide me. So look at the distance that I have here between the panel. Now if I pull this straight and I just simply put my finger there, I know that's my strip point. Now they sell count five strippers or if you're experienced, very lightly scribing the outside and you can pull this open. You take your snips, I cut it back just a little bit here. Cut the pull string. Now let me show you how to lace this in and terminate it. Now it's going to go down that way and the one over here is going to go up here. So I just grab a pair and I'll grab the blue pair. Now TIA EIA stipulates that you need no more than one half inch strip length. So I line it up right there from the point that I stripped on the sheet. That's about a half inch, a little bit less. If you can keep it tighter, that's better. And you notice that I put the primary white on the outside here, white, blue, white, orange. I can just use these fingers. Are you getting a good picture on this close yeah. up? Okay. And notice how the white doesn't want to line up on the right side. Simply keep your thumbnail there and twist this part so it doesn't twist up inside the sheath itself. <coughs> we have to maintain minimum twist. Now, I'll usually lace all these in before I terminate them, but in this case, I'll go ahead and terminate. I'll give you a quick overview of the punch down tool. Now, on this punch down tool, we're going to use the 110 style blade and we're going to use the cutting side. Also, there's an 